Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics showing a little bit about how you can delete, undelete, restore files in Ubuntu. If you go over to the left and to the very bottom, you can open up your trash. And I have got one item in here, and I am going to take that one item and I'm going to right click it, and I can restore it and send it back to the video folder where it originally was or I can delete it permanently. You might think of a paradigm where I have got the trash in my trash can and when I hit delete permanently the trash pickup truck picks it up and takes it away to the city dump. It's gone. Now there's nothing in my trash folder and I'm going to open up my video file and I'm going to show you that I'm going to do this again and in this I'm going to do something a little bit different. Here is another file that I want to get rid of and I'm going to move it to the trash and it's gone and I'm going to get out of videos. I'm going to go back to trash. I'm opening it up. and when I open it up you'll see that file and I can either restore it or permanently delete it. Delete permanently or send it back. I'm going to again delete permanently. Now I have previously opened up my video folder and I have taken some of those videos and I have copied them with a control C. I selected a group of them and after selecting them I copied them with a control C like I would uh, tap on it and then hold down my control key tap on another and another and another and if you want to get a whole group of them from here to there you can use your shift key for example, I can hold this one, I can select this one and then go down to the bottom, hold my shift key and get all of them like that or one at a time with the control key. When I go control C, I copy them and then I have plugged into the side of my computer a 16 gigabyte USB drive and what I did was I went over to this completely empty drive and I did a control V and I pasted these. Now I want to show you how much room this takes up by right clicking and going to properties and there's a little pie chart and it says that I used six gigabytes and that's the yellow and I've still got 10 free for 16. Now after watching these videos I might want to delete them and this works differently because this is a USB drive that is plugged into the side of the computer and it does not make use of the trash feature that is in the left st strip. Let's take a, a well heck let's take all of them. Control A and let's right click and let's move to trash and now they're gone or are they? If you now right click again and look at properties they're still there it says and what you can do is you can go control H and there they are. I can't get them back though you can. That goes, as they say, beyond the scope of this tutorial. But it does not go to the trash bin. When I select this and then right click and move it to trash for the second time, it says this permanently deletes everything. And now when I go back to the Control H doesn't show anything and when I right click and go to properties 
it's empty. Occasionally, occasionally, you will do a deletion. And when you do a deletion, they will still show up here in this pie chart. But when you go Control H, nothing shows in the trash. There's a trick. You'll have to go to open up G Part Ed, and G Part Ed will allow you to open up that drive and reformat it. There's nothing on it anyway. And this is my big drive, SDA, and I'm going to go to the 16 gigabyte drive. Here it says 14.9. There's a little overhead there. And after selecting, after selecting this, what you'd have to do is unmount it and then you're going to select it and then you're going to format it. And then after saying what you're going to do, you put in a check mark and you're just going to reformat the thing. And that takes care of any which kind of problem that is left over which gives you a sort of a spurious answer that's incorrect. Um, if you go Control H, it says there's nothing there. But when you right click it, it says, gee, it's being used up. And I don't know how to fix that. This is sort of a workaround. You might run into that from time to time. I have gone online and seen that people are giving uh, a bad uh, a bad reputation to certain name brands of flash drives and they're sending them back to the manufacturer for this reason. You don't have to. You can just do this. That may not come up at all with you. There is a way to recover the information that you have deleted on the flash drive but as I say when you open up the trash bin it doesn't go over here because this trash bin is associated with your main big hard disk that's on your laptop and the flash drive does not have a trash bin associated with it. You could build one in and you've sort of got one with that control H. My name is Pop. I have a whole bunch of videos on YouTube called Ubuntu Basics and I hope this may have been helpful to somebody and I thank you very much.